Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States has a stroke. In the past year, there were 818 stroke calls in the South County area, with 212 coming from Cerritos. Supervisor Janice Hahn spearheaded a program to launch a mobile stroke unit to be based at Fire Station 35 in Cerritos. The mobile stroke unit is a specialized ambulance equipped with a CT scanner so medical professionals can diagnose and treat strokes in the field. It was funded by a grant from the Henry Gluck Foundation and Los Angeles County. On Monday, January 8, 2018, the mobile stroke unit was put into service at a special ceremony. Today, we're celebrating the launch of a life-saving mobile stroke unit. It's a pilot program, and it will begin responding to calls and treating stroke victims today in the cities of Cerritos, Artesia, Bellflower, Lakewood, Paramount, Signal Hill, Hawaiian Gardens, Norwalk, and La Mirada, as well as the community of unincorporated Whittier. Doctors are seeing evidence that they can save more lives after strokes and prevent lasting brain damage if they can treat them in the field. This mobile stroke unit is one of just a handful of units like it nationwide that are equipped with CT scanners and medical technology that allow doctors to diagnose and treat stroke victims long before they're taken to the ER. But there are warning signs to look for and using the acronym FAST, F-A-S-T, is the best way to remember. And that's something I believe we need to get out as we continue this pilot program here, get out to those communities we serve countywide and beyond. F stands for face drooping. You know, you ask the person to smile, does one side of the face droop? If so, they're experiencing facial weakness or numbness. The A stands for arm weakness. Ask the person to raise both arms. If one arm drifts downward, that's another sign. The S is for speech difficulty. Ask the person to repeat a simple phrase. Is their speech slurred or strange? If so, the T stands for it's time to call 911. If you observe any of these signs, it's time to call 911 immediately. Time lost is brain lost. Imagine this, imagine a family member or friend suffering in their worst times, being weak on one side of their body, unable to speak to you, unable to make sense of what's going on, and you call 911. Every minute counts. So imagine this, when you call 911, the hospital comes to the patient. With the hospital, the physician comes, the nurse comes, a CT technologist comes, an expert paramedic comes, and we provide the first 30 minutes of acute stroke care in the field, in the patient's home, at the restaurant, anywhere. The mobile stroke unit is staffed with um, a critical care nurse, uh, a paramedic, and a CT technician. And then sometimes they have a fourth crew member, which is the neurologist. Now, the, the neurologist can either evaluate the patient in person, or if the neurologist is not working on the unit that day, they can use a Skype-type technology and a two-way screen with the neurologist, and they can evaluate the patient remotely. So from their office or from the hospital, they can actually assess the patient on a little TV screen that folds down. If they think that the patient is potentially a stroke patient, then what they do is they can lay the patient down and they can do the CAT scan right there in the back of the ambulance. Los Angeles County released this informational video about the mobile stroke unit. We will save lives and we will diminish um, the such negative effects that strokes have on people. This specially equipped vehicle enables paramedics rapid delivery of brain saving medications to stroke patients who might otherwise face debilitating delays in treatment. For instance, down here in the medicine refrigerator, uh, we carry something that's called TPA. This medication here will actually break up that clot and allow blood flow to continue through the brain. Uh, up here, we have what's called telemedicine. So in the event that we don't have a doctor with us, we can actually do something similar to FaceTime and the cameras will point directly toward the patient. The doctor's face will appear here on the monitor and the doctor can actually see things such as pupil size, facial droop. Biggest thing that we have that makes this unit better than any other ambulance 
It's a CT scanner right here. It really is a, a great instrument, um, and it really is bringing the hospital to the patient. By providing treatment in the most efficient timing, patients have the greatest possibility of improved recovery, an issue close to Supervisor Janice Hahn's heart. Ironically, my dad suffered a stroke. Uh, so uh, the last 10 years of his life and it had such a devastating effect on him. He was actually paralyzed uh, on his left side for the remainder of his uh, 10 years. Rapid response is critical because the sooner a stroke is treated, the better the patient's outcome. When you call 911 and report stroke symptoms, the mobile stroke unit may be dispatched. Having treatment quicker will improve stroke survival and reduce patient long-term disability allowing our residents to lead fuller, healthier lives. We are helping develop the future of emergency medical services that will, that will affect the, the entire world and how we respond to strokes. And the city of Cerritos is playing a pivotal role in helping determine what EMS response will look like in the future all over the world.